morning and praise God. I want to believe that for the past two days, God has been, up, has, has been speaking to you together with your family. And I also want to believe that today, God is going to speak to you and also into your life in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm Brother Charles Wonekaya Oluteo. I'm born again. I serve here under Deliverance Churches. And I want to thank God because of the opportunity to be a blessing to you this week. Let us pray this morning before I share the word. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, I want to say thank you because of uh, giving us an opportunity to hear the word of God. I pray that, Lord, as we speak this word, I pray that, Lord, you shall help us to understand in the name of Jesus. I pray that, Lord, may this word bring a transformation into our lives for the glory and honor of your name. And it's in the name of our Lord Jesus we do pray and believe. Amen. Today we are going to look at... Uh, Three points on why you should keep your joy. Three more points on why you should keep your joy. Point number six. Point number six. I'm here to tell you that the reason why you should keep your joy, one of the reasons that you should keep your joy is from the book of Psalms, chapter, chapter number 32, verse number 11. The Bible says, Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous." and shout for joy, all you who are upright in heart. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, all you who are upright in heart. Friends, I'm here to tell you that it's important for you to be glad and also to rejoice. Why? Because the scripture that we have just read, the scripture that we have just read, is telling us that be glad in the Lord and rejoice you righteous. So the reason that you are supposed to be filled with joy, the reason that you are supposed to be glad and to rejoice, it is because God has made you to be righteous. You are the righteousness of God. You, have, you are the righteousness of God. He has made you to be upright in your heart. And because of that, be glad and also rejoice in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm here to tell you this morning that the righteous are always full of joy. The opposite is true. The unrighteous are full of sadness. The unrighteous are full of, jo of, uh, of, uh, of sadness. The righteous are full of joy. This morning, purpose to be filled with joy. Why? Because he has made you to be righteous. He has made you to be righteous in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm also here to tell you, according to the word of God in the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5, verse number 16. 1 Thessalonians chapter number 5, verse number 16. The Bible says, Rejoy, rejoice evermore. Another version says, rejoice always rejoice always. I'm here to tell you that a believer has every reason to rejoice always, irrespective of everyday problems. I'm here to tell you this morning that a believer has every reason to rejoice always, to re rejoice evermore. I'm here to tell you this morning that despite the situation that you may be in this morning, purpose to rejoice. Why? Because you are the righteous of God. Why? Because you are a believer. You are a child of God. So purpose to be filled with joy every morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to know this morning that rejoicing has to be part of your daily life. Rejoicing has to be part of your daily life. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 23 verse number 6, Goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days of my life. Goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days of my life. One of the things that will follow you, apart from goodness, apart from, from mercies, is joy. So you should always purpose every morning that I will be a joyful person. I will be a joyful person. I will be a joyful person in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm also here to tell you that it's important for you to understand that you don't find that joy anywhere else. That joy is found in the Lord. That is point number eight. Find your joy in the Lord. 
How do I know? The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk chapter number 3, verse number 17 and verse number 18, the Bible says, Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields shall yield no meat, the flocks shall be cut from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Verse number 18 says, Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Despite everything going against my plan, I purpose to rejoice in the Lord. Despite everything going against my will, my desires, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation because he is the God of my salvation. Allow me to tell you this morning that it's important for you to find your joy in the Lord and not in things because things will end up disappointing you. Yeah, Situations will disappoint you. People will disappoint you. But the Lord will not disappoint you. So find your joy in the Lord and not in things and also in people in the name of our lord jesus christ thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak to you let us meet again tomorrow so that we continue with this series and i want to believe that god is going to transform your life thank you and god bless you let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ i pray for your sons and daughters as they go out today, I declare that may they be glad and may they rejoice. May they rejoice always. I declare that may they find joy in the Lord. I declare that, Father, you are going to go with them in their going out and also in their coming in. In the name of our Lord Jesus, I cover your people by the blood of Jesus and I declare that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. And it's in the name of our Lord Jesus, we do pray, trusting and believing in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Shalom.